In this video, I'll show you the projections of a curved surface for a multi-view drawing. That means how we could just project or construct a multi-view drawing for a surface having the curved part. If you look at this object, it has four curved surfaces. So this is the first one, this is the second one, this is the third, and this is the fourth curved surfaces here. So I will show you the projections of all those curved surfaces on different view. The method that I used to elaborate the video is just by constructing the object step by step. That means previously the object is just like this prism. And then from this prism, we'll try to make the previous object. That means we can create every future in this prism. Before doing that, Let's just construct the multi-view drawings of this prism. If we just construct it, then the other or the remaining parts will be just removing some portions of the views from that part and constructing the new future. Normally here is the first angle projection will be presented. But finally, I will show you with a third angle projection system. So in this case, let's just prefer this side as a front view. This is the longest side. So this part will be the front view and then this side will be as a side view. So we'll prefer the right side view and then I will just use the top view to be constructed over here. So once we just select all this, we have to put the place for this views. Their place is since the first angle projection is implemented. If the front view is placed over here, the top will be here and then the right side view will be placed over here the final horizontal total dimension will be 280 and then the vertical dimension will be 220. Once we do that, we'll just have a partition for a front, for a side and for a top view. So front view will be placed here. It will take just 160 by 100 here. 100 by 100 will be just for the right side view and then for the top view, 160 and then 100 will be here. So once we construct that, every view will be projected over here. So if you just look over here, since it is a simple object, it is front view will seem like this one. And then the top view will be just painted, which is painted with a green color here. So the top view, when you're ju just looking from the top side, you'll see the surface. So finally, you'll have this path. So this is just a top view. And then for the right side view, you'll see this one. And then this is just painted with a yellow color. Then finally, you'll have this part. So if the object is this, it's a multi-view drawing with the first angle projection seems like this. Now we are just removing some portion of the object here. So once you remove that, the remaining part will be this. So what will be just the views of this object on the three principal views here. So from the front side, now we have this L shape. Previously we have this L shape. So we have to construct it first. That means I make this part to construct it. If you just measure from here to here, is given as a 20 millimeter. So 20 millimeter will be measured from here to here and then we'll construct this vertical line. So from here to it is 20 millimeter. And then there's a one for the lower parts of this part from here to here is given as a 30 millimeter. So from here to here we'll measure 30 millimeter vertically and then we'll project this horizontal line and then they'll intersect at this point. So if you just connect it into this way, you will get this surface. So the surface which is painted with a blue color is just this surface. So from the front side, we construct it. So we don't need to construct the additional surface, this surface, because this is a gray surface by itself just overlap over here. And then when we just look from the front side, it will be over this surface. And then when we try to construct the top view, if you are just looking over here, from here to here, it is 20, so we don't need to measure because we have an extension line or a construction line here, but we have to just measure into the depth part here. If you just look into the depth of this part, it, from here to here, it is 80 millimeter is given. That means from the lower tip of the top view, we'll measure 80 millimeters. That means from here to here, it's 80 millimeters, so we can construct this horizontal line. And then once we construct that horizontal line, they will intersect at this point, and then this inverted L shape will be constructed. That means the green surface will be constructed over here. And in the same case, for this blue sky color, we don't need to construct additional geometry for a top view because it is just overlap over here and then the two surfaces will be projected on the top view. And then for the right side view, we can just measure into the depths 
it has an equation when you just look into this part from here to it is 80 so from here to here we'll measure 80 and construct one vertical line into this way and then they will intersect from the horizontal extension so front view so once we get that we can construct this shape and then when we look just over here so the surface will be overlapped over here so the two surfaces will be projected as a right side view so all the three views will be in this way now additional feature is included here that means there is a hole so if there is a hole here if you just look over here the hole is through hole that means it's just bore until the end of the object that means just if you just insert something here it will exit on the other direction so this is just the new feature but how we could just construct this on the three views the first thing is just to construct it on the front view we have to know the exact locations of the center of the circle so where is the center of the circle now the center of the circle is located over here from here to it, if you just look at this vertical line from here to here it is 40 millimeter that means from here to here we'll measure 40 millimeter and then we'll construct one vertical line and then for the vertical position from here to here it is given as 40 millimeter then they are the same for this case so from here to here we'll measure 40 millimeter and then we'll construct this line once you construct you will get this intersection point so this intersection point is the center of the circle so just by arranging our compass with the radius of 20 millimeter and then we can construct this circle but here when you're just looking into this there is additional future because every future on one view will have on the other one that means if it has a future on front view it should have to also on the top and on the side view so we have to put that future now the features of this part on the top view will be a hidden line we know that if such types of a circular part is just here and then there is a surface beyond that that means it's painted with a green so it will cover that of the pattern so we didn't see the projections of the surface when you just project a circular surface just like this one it will have a circular feature on one view and then for the other view it will have a rectangular layout if you just look at this cylinder from the front view in this case from this side it will have a circular part but when you just look into this surface that means when you're just looking from the top view it will be just a rectangle did you see this and then even when you just look or rotate this part into this way and then looking from the side view it will be just like a rectangle so when you come back to our object so this is just a circular feature so it has a circular feature on the front view and then on the top on the and then for the right side view it will have a rectangular surface so if you're just looking this object from this direction let me show you with some of the animation here if you just look from this you are just looking this surface so we have to project this surface where is the exact surfaces or the exact locations of this on the top view the exact location will be on this part so to construct it as view we'll construct two vertical tangent lines from the front views into this one so once you construct that you will get this two lines but with the precedences of line or the priorities of line the visible line will take the priority on those two horizontal lines so we don't need to construct any line over here the only remaining two lines will be shown as a hidden line here so somebody just can understand that as there is some future in here that is a hidden part so for the right side view we can construct two horizontal lines which is tangent to the circle from the front view we can construct those two lines and then we can get exactly the position and dimensions of the object when you just look this part is from the right side view it will be just a rectangle so this rectangular surface will be placed over here among the four lines of the rectangle the two are overlapped with the visible line so we don't need it and then the only lines will be just two horizontal lines so you can construct them with a hidden line how we could just express this object is a circular object so if there is a circular object we have to construct a center line just like this one and then for its projection over the other one we have to construct one center line here and then one center line from the right side view so this is just the projections of the object if the object is this one let's add additional feature here that means there is a hole here if you just look at this hole this is not a throughout hole that means the hole is not created until the end of the path 
it has only the depth of 20 mm. If you just look at this part, it has a thickness of 30 mm. Among that 30 mm, only 20 mm portion is removed here. So to construct this on the view, how we could just project it? If you just look over here, the circular part is created on the top surface. So before constructing it on the front view, it will be very simple if you just start constructing it on the top view. So from the top view, if you just look over here on the sky blue color, the surface is created over here. That means we are removing this portion into this way. Once you remove on this surface, so the part will be this one. So where is exactly the center of the circle on the top view? To know that, if you just look over here, from here to here, it is just 90 millimeter. So we'll measure from here to here as 90 millimeter and then construct one vertical line into this way. And then when we just look from here, from here to is given as 40 millimeter. That means from this surface to this one, 40 millimeter will be projected. So from here to here, you'll measure 40 millimeter and then you will construct one horizontal line. And then this intersection point will be the center of the circle. So you will arrange your compass with a radius of 30 millimeter in this case, and then you can construct the circle. So once you construct the circle, it will have a view just like this one. The same thing can be happen for constructing the projections of the circular part for the other two principal views. Now for the front view in this case, we can project two vertical lines, which are tangent to the circle on the top view. So if you just do that, previously normally we have this one line, so we don't need to construct it. So that means this future will be created on the front view from here to here this circular feature will be changing into a rectangular projection like this surface. Did you see this one? So this is just rectangular surface. So we have to put this rectangular surface exactly on the place of this one. From the front view, it's tip from the top part is from here to here. And then what's the depth? The depth is given here. That is 20 millimeters. So from here to here, we'll measure 20 millimeter and construct one horizontal line. And then once we get that, we'll just put this four lines. But in this case, we're going to put the four lines one line is overlapped with the visible line here, so we don't need to construct that. The only three lines will be placed on the front view. So this is just the view from the front side. And then the other thing, when just looking from the right side view here, the projections of the circular part will be just as a rectangle as we know previously. So it will have this layout. And then the place will be just the same as the front view. That means the tip of the surface of the future will be over here. The center of the circle where just previously from here to here it was 40 millimeter. And then we can just put the center of that part here. And then to the right and to the left will just go to with the radius of the circle. That means 30 millimeter. That means from here to it will be 30 and then from here to it will be 30. That means among them they will have a 60 millimeter distance. That means the diameter of the circle. So you can construct those two vertical lines here. So once you do that, we have just all those parts, so we can put that rectangle. When we just put that rectangle, it will have this layout. Once we have projected all the surfaces, now the final thing is we have to construct a center line for this circular feature. For the top view, we can construct into this way, and then for the right, and then for the front view, we are just constructing the center line in this way. So finally, the multi-view drawings of this object seems like this one. The same procedure can be happen so let's remove this portion so to remove this part just we are cutting out this material and remove into this way so once you remove that you will have this layout and then the layout of this part is now we will add this portion only on the three views so to do that if you just look at this here is just like a 40 millimeter radius so to construct this future first we have to project one vertical and one horizontal line to get the center of this portion so the center of this sector is constructed into this way. That means we'll measure from this tip to this tip with the 40 millimeter and construct one vertical line. And then from here to here, we'll measure 40 millimeter and then construct this horizontal line. And then they will intersect at this point. So this intersection point is the center of sector for this case. So once we get that, we can just construct the arc from here to here in this way. So you can construct that. Once you construct it, since there is no any portion beyond that, we'll erase out that portion. So we'll erase this part and then the remaining part will be just projected into this way. So what will be the features on the other view? If you just look over here, this line and this arc are tangent to each other. 
If they are tangent to each other, there may not be any future on the top view. Try to just understand this one. If the two portions, that means the circular part and then this normal line in this case are tangent to each other, if the surface are tangent to each other, there may not be any line here. So no line is needed here. We don't need to construct it. And then if you just look over here from the other part, when you just project it into the right side view, so there is no also line because this circular surface and these vertical lines are tangent to each other. So we don't need to construct any line. Please try to avoid this error. And then the other one, now the last portion is remaining. That means the last circular part is here. And then we'll try to focus on that. Let's just remove this portion. So if you just remove this portion into this way, so you will have this object. Finally, we have these parts. So we need to construct the multi-view drawings of all the four features here. So if you just look this part, it is just constructed with the radius of 40 millimeter circular part here. So to just construct the segments of the circular part, let's just use the same procedure. The circular features are just formed on the profile plane. So it will be very simple if you just start from the right side view. So where is the locations of the center for this circular segment? Now the center of that portion is on this corner. So from this corner, we are just constructing this circular part. So to do that, it has a 40 millimeter radius. That means from here to here, we'll measure 40 millimeter. In this case, there is a previously constructed line for the other purpose. So from here to here, it will be 40 millimeter. The initial point of the arc will be this. And then from here to here, the same thing, it will be 40 millimeter. And then we can just use that one. If you just want to get that intersection point, you will just construct this arc. So finally, you'll have this arc. And then we'll erase out that portion because the material were removed at this portion. So the center line will be added here. So once you construct this, where will be the projections of the surface on the top and then on the front view? And then when we just look over here, there is an intersection between this circular feature or this arc and then this vertical line. Since there is an intersection, it is not tangent. They are intersection. Since they are intersect to each other, there will be a line, a visible line will be there. So we have to put a line parallel to this one from the front view. So we'll just put this portion. And then finally, the L shape of the object will be this one. And then we'll just look from this tip, this horizontal line and this circular part or this arc intersecting at that point. So from the top view, we'll have this line. So we have to just draw this line. And then finally, the previous L shape with the green color will be cut out into this part. And then the remaining red color part of the projections of the views will be seen in this way. This is just the multi-view drawings of the curved surface in different technique. So basic steps are shown here. You can simply construct based on what I show you here. And then we'll just look into the third angle projection system. Normally, the first and the third angle system will have the same view, that means the front view, the top view, and the, the right side views are the same except their position. When we come to the third angle projection system, the front view will be placed here, and then the top view will be on the top of the front view, and then the right side view will be placed on the right of the front view. But when we use the first angle projection system, the top view is just placed below the front view and then the right side view is also placed on the left of the front view. This is just their basic difference, but their layouts are the same. If you get the video important, you might like, share, and then you can subscribe our channel. There are plenty of exercises which is just available on the video description link. You can join our platform and then you can access so many exercises with a solution set. So this is just the end of the video. So thank you for your watching and then see you soon.